Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your full moon reading. So this is for the full moon, the full moon coming up. I believe it is March 9th. We're going to use a couple different decks here for this reading. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you and the timing is fluid. This is the energy that the full moon is bringing in for somebody. It may or may not be you. And the timing is absolutely fluid. Money. Money, 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 money. Something about money. Now, you could, you, you notice there's a 10 up there. 3 plus 7 equals 10, which could be the 10 of pentacles. So something about the home, something about money, money coming in. Okay. Um, something about money. Something may cost you some money as well so this could go a few different ways but it is about abundance it's about abundance it's about money it's about stability and security somebody is getting a big payout or they're about to uh, pay out <laughs> either way this do is going to affect your finances this moon is going to affect your finances okay What do we got here? Somebody could be really getting some money. Can't find it. Remember how much money was sitting right there. It was a good amount. Take off your masks. This is a number 11. Somebody is wearing a mask. You notice it's time to take it off. So the masks are going to come off. Put it that way. They are. And maybe it's time. Somebody is just deciding to take the masks off. Um, it's time to get real by the looks of things. One more card. Maybe somebody was really focused on money. You know, they may have, uh, you know, built themselves up to be somebody. They paid. They may have paid a price. That's what I feel like this is now that this card has come out. Somebody has paid, you know, to be somebody that they are not. It's kind of like fake, right? We've been talking about this. Hmm. Somebody's mask is coming off. One card, please, for the full moon. Right around the full moon. One card, please. The lovers, the lovers. So, you know, when you get the lovers, that means there's an unexpected choice in love. There's a choice between two when you get the lovers card. There really is. Okay. The lovers is about love. It's about soulmates, kindred spirits, a perfect union. Somebody has been wearing a mask. They may have paid a very dear price. Um, it's time to take that mask off and follow your heart by the looks of things. And I feel like that's what somebody is doing. Now, the Lover's card is also a card of consequences. So somebody may be suffering some sort of consequences. Um, <clears throat> we have two people that are, are going to grow old together. They are. They're meant to grow old together. They are meant to be together. This is a soulmate, okay? This is a this is a perfect union. Somebody that you have shared values with. This is falling in love, okay? Or being in love. There's an opportunity for forever. I mean, there is an opportunity for forever here. Somebody's been wearing a mask, though. They have, you know, if you think about 10, 10 is a completion. And this, in, in 10 to the 11, 11 is like a union. It really is. And this is a union. So th we may have the completion of one situation. And maybe somebody was in a relationship just for, you know, I don't know, to have it. Just, just for the security of it. But it looks like it's a, a 10 is a completion. It is a completion. So it's like something coming to an end. 
And, and, and this ending, and I feel like it is an ending because that equals 10, leads to a partnership because of the 11. One becomes two, you know? So there's a union here. There's a union that is coming into play. But it's after some sort of completion. It is. It is. Something has ended. What do we have for the full moon? Now it's going to cost something. Is It's going to cost you. That's what I just heard. It's going to cost. It's going to... Somebody may... It's going to, you know, this is a choice. This is a choice between two. It really is. Somebody has been pretending to be somebody, probably in a relationship. They've been pretending. And there's no kidding. When you're wearing a mask, you're pretending. Somebody has been pretending. And they probably know. They probably know. They probably have a soulmate connection. Hmm. Something to do with money or money. <laughs> Something to do with money here. Could be dealing with a blonde. We do have a blonde. Doesn't have to be. Um, that just stuck out at me. Um, six of Wands. Six of Wands is a card of yes, a victory, recognition. Uh, practice makes perfect. This is victory after after um, sorrow, really. Somebody has has put in a lot of work. They've been through a lot of pain. Now they are being recognized, or they're they are going to be recognized. They're going to be recognized for their hard work. Somebody has put in a lot of effort to learn something, or to overcome something, or to prove themselves, or something like that. This is somebody who has a lot of strength, has a lot of perseverance. This person has been getting ready to make a performance of some sort. So we got somebody here that is getting ready. They're almost ready. Queen of Cups. We got a woman with a big heart here. This is a this is a big-hearted woman, somebody that is um, very intuitive. This could be a counselor. This is somebody that is very uh, kind and, and gentle and loving. It looks as though she's, I think the cover is the cover. What the hell is that? No, it, that's like, uh, it's not a cover. Illuminating, illuminating. She's illuminating love. So there is something to do with love here. This person is a, is is a lover. So we do have a lover here. This guy is getting ready. He's getting ready. He's getting ready to make a performance of some sort. Getting ready to perform. <laughs> five of Pentacles reversed next to this Queen of Cups. This Five of Pent. There's been some sort of abandonment. Somebody's been abandoned. And they've been it. I think there's been an unhealthy relationship. There's there there has, but the five of pentacles reversed. There has. But now there's going to be a turning point of some sort. There's there's some some sort of improvement. Something is about to change. Somebody may have ghosted a person or abandoned a person or neglected a person, but a change is coming. We have a turning point here. The emperor. The Emperor reversed. So the Emperor reversed is somebody that is loses control. And and you know, this could be total ruin. And if you think about the Ten of Pentacles, something could you know, and it's a completion. Okay? Tens are completions. So something about money. Somebody could could be experiencing some sort of financial loss, I just gotta be honest with you. It's and their business could be suffering. Now, this, this could be a business owner. I don't know if it's a business owner, but it doesn't have to be. Somebody's business could be suffering. Um, there's the ego here. We have somebody here that is highly driven by society under a lot of social pressure. This person is corrupt. They do things that are against the law. They are above the law. So we have somebody here that thinks they're above the law. They are entitled. This person is entitled. They, are, they feel like they're entitled. Now, we got this Queen of Cups here. This Queen of Cups is somebody who is very loving and kind and generous. This Emperor in Reversed is a masculine who is egotistical. Um, corrupt. Selfish. I mean, the Emperor in Reverse, somebody who is selfish. Deserts you. Deserts you when they get what they want. 
So this person is like they're only in it for themselves. The emperor in reverse. We do have a masculine that has is very selfish. May have forgotten about this person. This is abandoned. This person forgotten about this person. Forgot about this person's generosity or something like that. This person is kind and loving. This emperor in reverse is selfish. Not interested. Only out for their own good. Somebody that is very controlling. When they need you, they need you. But when you need them, they're nowhere to be found. That's what this person is. So interesting. King, we must be dealing with an Aries. Aries here, Aries here. But it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. could be anybody. We all take on these properties. could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person, King of Wands, reverse, very egotistical. We have somebody here that is totally driven by ego pressure. Ego. Ego. <laughs> ego. Pressure. Society. Society. Can't talk. I don't know if it's still Mercury retrograde, but I don't know. I can't speak. This person um, is unreasonable. We have somebody here that is unreasonable. And maybe they're being recognized for their for their ways because this is recognition somebody is being recognized for who they are this person is mean mean angry selfish doesn't care very self-centered and self-righteous i think i just said that um controlling we could even be dealing with a narcissist here i'm just i gotta be honest with you horrendous loss horrendous so we have a masculine and i don't care when anybody says you don't have to like me you know that i don't care about that we have a masculine that is about to suffer a horrendous loss a horrendous loss or he has suffered a horrendous loss or he's going to suffer another one okay because of his ego because of his pride okay this is high ego high pride Okay, this uh, this person is going to get angry and, and this is this the wheel of fortune reversed is a setback. It's bad luck, something not going the way that you had planned. It's a fall from grace. It's past mistakes coming back to haunt you. It is karma. This is a shocking, unpredictable loss. We have a masculine that is going to uh, experience a shocking, unpredictable loss because he's clinging to control we got a, this is clinging to control we got some this person is so we have a narcissist here this guy is controlling look at that heartache heart pain three of swords painful painful separation so the, i'm not sure there could even be a heart attack okay this is stabbed right in the heart so feeling a lot of pain under a lot of pain and this is like I don't know if this is like a funeral or what. What the hell is this? This could be the authorities. This could be the authorities that are coming. They are coming to take something. They're coming to do something and it's going to hurt. And it may it may have to do with the wallet. It may have to do with the business. It may have to do with something. Okay, something that costs. Something to do with money. Um, if this is a business owner that is narcissistic and controlling and selfish and corrupt... It doesn't look good. I'm just being honest with you. This is this is a huge, huge, huge loss. This is a setback. This is this is somebody's negative, repetitive patterns coming back to haunt them. This is bad luck and bad karma for this masculine. And this is a masculine. It really is. He's been putting on a performance, a performance of a fucking lifetime. Yes, he has. He absolutely has. One hell of a performance he's been putting on. But there's been abandonment. You abandoned this queen. This queen is very generous and kind and loving.
painful. Whew. Lovers, unexpected choice in love. There's an opportunity for love here. Eight of Cups, reverse. Now this is wanting to come back. Or something coming back around, the Eight of Cups reversed. Pretending to be happy. This is somebody that is staying in a relationship, the Eight of Cups, that is not making them happy. They're staying there instead of walking away. And they're pretending to be happy. They're superficial and shallow. So there's, But they're staying put. They're refusing to move on. Because right now they're under control. Everything is under control, right? They can control. They're allowed. This is a narcissist that is able to control the situation. They're, they're able to control. So that's why they stay. They're under control, right? So we have this person is absolutely a, a tyrant, a nar narcissist, okay? So this narcissist is pretending and putting on the performance of a lifetime, okay? The, that's what we got here. We got somebody here that is is pretending with the best of them. Um, not very spiritual, emotionally weak, shallow, very shallow. Princess of Wands. So that would be the Page of Wands reversed. There's a lack of excitement, a lack of growth. This person is very pessimistic, uh, childish, um, unreliable, a show off. Uh, makes excuses, doesn't accept responsibility. This is somebody that is a troublemaker, per se. A show off, boastful. Somebody has a chip on their shoulder. Acts like a child. It's like a man in a child's body. Or a child in a man's body. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a child in a man's body. Um very superficial not happy at all in his circumstances this masculine isn't happy at all but is in control right now so he's staying there he's staying there because it's easy it's very easy to control wherever he's at he's in complete control prince of cups that's the knight of cups now this is a new relationship. There's an opportunity. This it's like this could be somebody else that is coming in with an offer of love. It's not this guy. I don't think it is. Death and ending. Endings lead to new beginnings, a new relationship. Somebody has a new relationship. There's a new opportunity here because this is an opportunity for love. The Knight of Cups, a new offer coming in. This this one has experienced a horrendous loss of a masculine, right? She's been abandoned. Now there's another relationship coming in. A new beginning after that death, after that ending. There is a new relationship coming in. This person is looking for love, looking for a relationship. Very romantic. I don't know about that, but death, death, endings lead to new beginnings. This is a release. This is a transition. This is a profound change. Somebody is about to experience a big loss. It has to do with this queen. This queen that was abandoned, she was abandoned by a narcissist. <laughs> so now this narcissist is probably going to get angry or he is angry. He probably already is. Now he's experiencing an ending for real. Um, Endings lead to new beginnings. This death card is a death. It could be a physical death, but I don't know if it is. This is a separation and loss. This is, I'm telling you what, there is a huge loss here. There is. For this masculine, 
And for her, she, it's, it's, I'm telling you what. But one man's trash is another man's treasure. Vice versa. However you take it. There is a new relationship coming in. We have a new beginning here. We do have a new beginning. We have somebody that is looking for a relationship. They are looking for a new life. So yeah, we do have a major ending that leads to a new beginning. It leads to a new relationship with somebody that is emotionally available. This person that is narcissistic and likes to be in control and doesn't like to give and is unreasonable and self-centered and self-righteous and entitled to, you know, not having to give anything. You know, I'm entitled. I'm the king. I'm the boss. I don't care. That person is going to experience a loss and it is going to be a big one. They're going to expect and it's going to, it's going to cost them. I know that it is. It's going to cost them the love of their life. And it's because of their ego. So I do feel like we have two lovers that are coming together. That's what we have. We have two people that are coming together unexpectedly. These people are going to grow old together. These people come together after a loss of some sort. And I don't know if there's a funeral or, or what there is. I don't, I don't like to scare people or say that kind of shit. But these people come together unexpectedly. They do come together unexpectedly. Um... Yeah, I don't know if somebody's going to pass away or what. I mean, I hate to say that, but the Ace of Cups reverses. Or it doesn't have to be passed away, but something is going to end. There's an unrequited love situation where it's, it is going to end. Or it's, there is, a, there it is. And there's going to be some tears that are shed. I do believe there's going to be some tears shed. Because somebody is going to realize that they lost the love of their life to somebody else. It's going to cost them. Yeah, there's no hope. It's too late. Why? Why? This is your why, 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 why is this happening? Why is this? It's happening because somebody was narcissistic. They were clinging to control. Seriously, clinging to control, clinging to control, clinging to control. Very controlling, very egotistical. They let their ego get in the way of love and money. Having all that money is ego. So we got somebody here that chose money versus love. And now they're about to pay a price. Let's read that card. Take off your masks. Stop trying to appear different to who you really are. We already talked about this. It's time to take off your mask and be the real you. You cannot get the love and attention you are craving by pretending to be someone you are not. Why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfections, fears, and vulnerabilities? Are you constantly doing things to please others even if doing this does not work for you? Let me read that part again. Are you constantly doing things to please others even if doing this does not work for you? This card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. You will know what you will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. If you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because uh, because others feel envious or resentful. 
Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them as well as those who doubted and disliked them. Follow your heart. There's a love of a lifetime waiting. Good luck.